What's up guys, it's Power Bang. The green screen is down, there's a tornado behind me, but we were doing a little construction in here today, so there's tools, there's lighting equipment, tripods everywhere. Uh, Mrs. PB actually put up a brick wall. Yeah, check that out. Not too bad, Mrs. PB. Anyways, nice work. We're gonna go ahead and get into the raids today. We've got four Town Hall 9 attacks for you to show. They're gonna be ground armies, mixing it a little bit, up from the air stuff that you've been seeing. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so here it is, we've got a war going on right this moment. It is live CWL action, we are taking on the Immoral Thieves, and uh, things going well so far for both clans. Uh, they've got a lot of scouts in, as far as uh, the three stars go, it's 18 to 18, so looking pretty good for, for WHF, quite honestly. Uh, not too shabby at all, trying to carry over the momentum from last week, but we're doing it with some ground attacks today, guys. Not, I mean, still primarily AR air, I think I looked at the three star count a little bit earlier, and in the Town Hall 9 section, it was like maybe 60% of them were air attacks, 40% uh, or maybe a little less than that ground. But let's go ahead and look at some of those uh, examples that we have from the ground today. We've got Citrus Mind here. Um, this is so weird, like, being able to see behind me. You guys will never, never think the same of me again. But anyway, Citrus Mind bringing the Golem Avalanche here. He's bringing eight minions as well. Comes in with the Golems from the bottom. And again, it's pretty heavy on the Wizards behind. Uh, just trying to wipe a clean slate behind those Golems. And you can see the Queen kind of drop to the right of them. And that Queen is going to walk counterclockwise around the base. Now, in order to get her to walk that direction, you just need to drop her to whichever side of the Golems that uh, you want her to go to basically so she's gonna head in as well so there you go into the core we go another golem is kind of trailed in and the reason for that was to be able to target this expo and tesla with certainty to make sure that the golems went that direction and not some other random place so there they are beating on the wall notice all of the defenses are firing at them with the exception of this wizard tower right here but it does look like the bowlers coming out of the clan castle will back up the king take it out and now those golems are continuing to kind of roll their way through the base and you can see he's got one more jump spell to kind of connect this next compartment once they get done tanking here so he's got one more golem left you're going to see that golem come into the backside probably on the tesla there um, and the goal is to kind of jump everything and you can see the golemites actually dying out so he's not going to waste a jump spell there instead he just wall breaks in that top right section using the king for tanking and notice the queen is tanking as well now that's pretty pretty you know pretty cool that he's able to tank with his heroes uh, for a brief moment just on one defense there until his golem is able to get over the wall there and again he's sharing the jump spell between the outside troops and the inside troops so ultimately it looks like his bowlers end up hitting a bomb but the golem comes up to the final wall here and check out the range here on the cannon the cannon somehow uh can hit that golem not sure how he seems to be standing outside it but hey it'll work either way anyways we've got minions we've got uh, a whole bunch of wizards coming through this last section really really nice work the queen's still working her way through the wall that is the golem avalanche guys it's an option it's a little bit more technical um but it's also not super hard either just get your tanks going in one direction lead them around the base with the jump spells and then you know drop in the troops accordingly behind them so really not super complex but it also is more than mindless if that makes sense so next up we're going to look at number 29 this is peter hitting rambus here and this is kind of the uh, the go boho essentially. It's like the the hobo, but you know, with one less golem. He's bringing a few more wizards here to start off with the the nice funnel early, and then also using more wizards in order to help like push through the heroes that are external. It's all kind of situational, guys. No like one size fits all army is going to work for all of the anti three bases that you're seeing in the current meta. Check out the funnel though. The wizards being created on the side there, looking pretty good. Poison spell comes down, and that gets both. Both heroes slowed up, wizards and queen able to take out that king, and then the golem hops the wall, still attracting the fire of that queen. Another poison spell down for the minions in the clan castle, and they'll eventually go over to start targeting the bowlers, targeting the golems, and look at that, wizards come over and take them out. So everything good at this point. Golem going into the base, and at this point, we've just got hogs coming in surgically. Now, everything's targeting the Golem and King, except for this cannon, and if you guys drop two hogs on any point defense, it will take out that point defense if only that point defense is firing at it. You see up here, this cannon firing at this group of two hogs, 
and that group of two hogs is going to win that battle every time. You're going to end up with one hog remaining, and he's doing the same thing over here on this other side as his troops kind of break through this wall right here. Once that wall gets broken and these troops can come in and the king starts attracting the fire of the expo and the cannon, you're going to start seeing hogs come in from the sides. Notice the giants down there to actually attract some fire and buy some time for this group of hogs. Looking pretty good. So he's just coming in the, the backside of the base here. And what he's trying to do is converge all those hog riders on the most concentrated DPS in the base. And that is the Tesla farm. And he's actually got two heal spells left uh, because he was able to conserve pretty nicely here. So he uses the second heal spell because he has some hog riders getting low. And he's actually able to prevent some hogs from dying to three bombs. A triple bomb in this compartment. Not bad at all here from Peter. He makes it through no problem. He's going to get around to smacking those skellies down. And he's got nothing but time here in the cleanup. Able to get this taken care of really efficiently. So nice work. This is the Go Boho guys. Uh, bringing the golems and the bowlers out of the clan castle. And then ultimately following that up with the hog riders. Okay, so next up, we've got another uh, attack that we covered recently on the channel. This is called the Grundinator. I was corrected in that one. I, I didn't know what to call it because I hadn't seen it elsewhere on YouTube. But a lot of people tell me the Grundinator... Uh, named for the, the Grundinator, the actual player. <laughs> uh, he was the one that kind of came up with this a while back, throwing in a couple Valkyries and a P.E.K.K.A. into the army composition here. So General Duke, and this is like his go-to strat. He uses it pretty much every attack. And again, he six-packed this war. So it comes in from the right side with the storage is kind of preventing him from making a quick entry. But he drops a Barbarian out there. And look at that. He lures that king all the way out. And he's trying to get uh, this baby dragon to lock onto the king. How funny is this? I have not seen this before. Pretty clever getting that king outside of the range of everything else. Feeding it Barbarians. No spells or anything needed. And that's going to keep the baby dragon on the outside as well. Able to clean up some of the buildings up there and continue on down the side of the base. So queen's going to step up. Queen on queen action coming up here. Rage spell goes down. That's going to help her get through that opposing queen before she locks onto the lava hound. So lava hound's going get, to get got here by the queen and the wizards. Everything looking pretty good right now. Baby dragon still alive up there. Going to get the bomb tower as well. So four or five buildings taken out by the single baby dragon. And then we've got a really nice big funnel created here and he's going to be looking into bringing that second part of his kill squad so here goes the queen walking down the wall you know how that's going to go nothing to stop her down there up top we've got a baby dragon creating a beautiful funnel there and then the pekka and king obviously they're going to walk towards the storages towards the inside here tesla farm does pop and that could be a little bit concerning so he drops the valkyries in immediately the goal being to take out this gold mine to create a wider funnel even still so they get that taken out valkyries are going to walk but that's okay he chose to get the king and bowlers in reliably uh and that's kind of what's going to go on unfortunately uh, he, the bowlers do take out the building before the king breaks through the wall, and they're going to walk as well. However, you can see the power here in this strategy is the bowlers throwing stuff over the wall, still taking out the town hall. Valkyrie's still alive. Queen's still rolling around the base. And, you know, if this were all to the attack, I'd be wondering, like, man, I don't know. This isn't that great. But he's, he's pretty much cored out the entire base. And he's taken out all kinds of key defense, and the queen is still alive with healers on her, and he still has a heal spell left. The king is going to make it through this wall up here, and then ultimately will take out all of these buildings. Now check out now the hogs coming in from the side. Now that the expo and the buildings up top are focused on that king, hogs are going to come in, and he's trying to hit everything at once, so the, the defenses have to split their concentration, uh, and they end up not taking out many troops. He uses the, the heal spell on the hog riders that are taking out that cannon section by themselves. Other than that, the king providing the tanking necessary. Swag poison's coming down. General Duke and getting it done. Only thing left to do is take out the queen platform, and he's got plenty of troops to do that. So really nice attack from General Dugan. Let's look at one more style of attack here today. We're going to look at the Queen Walk. We haven't looked at that much in this episode. There was a little bit in this one, but it was more the other troops that were kind of the focus. Let's look at number 40 here. This is Queen Walk with just straight hogs in this one. So 26 hog riders and another 6 in the CC. So 32 hogs total. And this is an anti-3 Town Hall 9. It's actually a little bit vulnerable to air with two air defenses hanging around up there. Uh, you know... A lot of people look at this and say La Loon. Well, here's a way to take it out with, with convincing style, uh, taking it out with the uh, the hogs. So really, really good stuff here from Dan Howe. The whole point of this queen walk, it honestly doesn't matter which way she goes too much. 
because basically whichever way she doesn't go, he can she can send the king and he's good to go on that. So all he's trying to do is step up and get that uh, queen taken out and then have his queen responsible for the clan castle lure. And he drops a, a single giant over there and look at that, empties the clan castle. He's got a witch, baby dragon, uh, wizard combination coming out of it. And then now the queen's going to walk to the right and a poison spell comes down for the baby dragons, and she's just gonna say, you know what, this is a little bit of trouble, I don't like it, I'm using the ability, so uses the ability, gets through the storage, gets through all the CC, everything down, pops the witch, and then it's on with the walk. So on the other side of the base, you can see a king standing up there at his platform, he's gonna drop his king and basically suicide king on him, using the funnel there on the army camp that uh, wizard's gonna help come over take out the storage. There's the iron fist ability, that's gonna get him through the barb king, and then continuing through this base takes out a pretty good section up there while the queen continues to walk now from the bottom check this out waterfall deployment on the hogs each building notice that wizard tower focused on one group of hogs and then you know another group comes in that it's not targeting so really nice work unfortunately the heels kind of clip a group of hogs that it wasn't supposed to uh, but it looks like the healers have switched to the hog riders and have left the queen but at this point since the hogs have cleared that section that's perfect you don't want the healers on the queen anymore. Healers cleaning up the hogs at this point is ideal. They can't seem to get a kill on them. Heal spell goes down for this last quadrant, and we've got a couple hogs coming in from the right side over there to target the final archer tower. Tons and tons of hog riders left over. This base got completely smashed. Uh, the last couple of skeletons are going to get wrecked right here. He still has multiple max level hog riders running around with those red and gold gavels, taking out the town hall, getting the queen uh, to clean up this base. Really nice work Dan Howe that is going to be four ground attacks guys that you can use in your armies uh pretty pretty easy to do most of them it's not super complex it's just a matter of breaking down the base and figuring out how to take out those key objectives I might do a refresher on those objectives here soon I feel like you know I've done it before so it's like refer to those videos but as we grow the channel and continue to get larger and larger a lot of these people have never seen any of those prerequisites and the objectives and all that so if you guys are new to the channel and you want to see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about like base objectives and things that you're trying to take out before you send in the bulk of your army, let me know in the comments. That'll let me know how soon I need to rehash that episode and basically uh, get that up to date on the channel. So if you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you're new here, subscribe. You'll love the content. That's all I got though for tonight, guys. This is Power Bang. I'm signing out till next time, guys. Take care and have a good weekend.